<laughs> yeah, I do. I mean, I, I, I am the rule. I'm the only rule in this game, so it doesn't matter weight divisions. Nate said he was ready to fight at any time, but well, he wasn't. He wasn't ready to fight at 155. He wasn't ready to fight at 160, 165. So we give him 170. So they go every other day. I'm happy to I'm go not and do it. I'm gonna no weight over no shit. I was gonna fucking. I said 155 from the beginning. You didn't take 155 though. You did not take did 155. Too. I did too. Initially, you didn't I take 155. Yes, Nick. I did. But that's cool. Don't worry about it. Don't come worry back about every it. Get day. comfortable. Get comfortable. Get comfortable. 170. Get comfortable. 170, brother. Yeah, get comfortable. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck I either. Fuck. I don't give a fuck either. I tell you, I like I like Nick's little bro. I do. I honestly not like I like Nick's little bro. You know what I mean? How can you not like him? He's he's like a he's like a little cholo gangster from the hood. But at the same time, but at the same time, he coaches kids jujitsu on a Sunday morning and goes on bike rides with the elderly. He makes gun signs with the right hand and animal balloons with the left hand. So I, 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 I'm a, you're a credit to the community. Fuck you. Fuck, fuck you. you. I don't give a fuck what you say, motherfucker. Yeah, thugging on mine, motherfucker. What you got? So what is going to happen on March 5th with Nate Diaz? He's a, he, he's a hit and pull fighter. He hits, pulls, hits, pulls, and then plods as well. Um, I just think I, I just think he's too predictable in, in everything he does. He's in a set pattern, and he... He neglects other disciplines and it's hampered them. It's hampered the Diaz brothers' progression in, 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 as a martial artist. So um, I feel his body will be ripped to shreds. It's a soft frame. Um, I feel the left uppercut will be a nice one. You know, the long range is an illusion. Um, I feel my left uppercut will ping him clean. You know, even look at Nate, Nate, Nate's last fight, 20,000 to show, 20,000 to win, not even a win bonus. Is it, his full check wasn't even a performance at a night bonus. Now, now he's at the pop in his cherry and he's gonna make his first million here. So, um, he really should be thankful and um, be grateful for this opportunity that I am giving him. You should be thankful too. You got a bigger check now than fighting Dos Anjos. Been a little penny check with that. My guy. check, my check, don't talk about money, you're broke. Uh, I could easily switch you up now and go put you back on that 20, 20 and 20 if you want. But all I want is a thank you or even a little dance. You're welcome. Even a little welcome. dance. Dance for me, Nate. Dance for me. And don't look me in the eye when you dance. I feel his repetitive foot patterns and his pull motions are too readable, too predict predictable. He will be too slow in there. The speed will stifle him. His soft body and his lack of preparation, he will not be able to handle the uh, ferocity. So, end of the first, I feel he will be put away. I, I, I respect Nate, don't get me wrong, I do respect Nate. There's a lot of pussies in this game and he is not one of them. So, I, don't, don't get me wrong, there's a respect there between us. But it's business in, in, in there, and, and business is business. He will be KO'd inside the fourth round. Saying, what's he predicting for Saturday night against Nate Diaz? I'm certainly going to toy with the young boy. I'm going to play with him. Now, he's, his, his entries and his exits, his retreats, his feints, his patterns are all identical. He can't break out of his set routine, so um, he is very, very predictable. I think the speed, you know, people gave Jose the speed advantage, but that was a mistake. I, when the fight began, I had the clear speed advantage. I was light on my feet, zipped in and out. I think it will be very, very evident, the speed difference. I also know he's, he's heavy on his lead foot, but really now he's like an injured gazelle and he's more heavy on his left foot. So these are, these are subtle tales that I, I tell. So I'm gonna go in and play with him. There are many, many shots. The Maya Lua, the 360 roundhouse, the soft body on him, he has, a, he has a soft, flabby body. They want you to give us a quick count to ten, both of you gentlemen, if you don't mind, just if you wouldn't mind counting to ten. Nate can only count to five. <laughs> ten. <laughs> oh. Count to five, Nate, will you, if you can? You count, Hurry up with that coffee. Count. How about and that? hurry up with that coffee. Uh, Nate, how much of the, of the purse you're going to take home do you owe to Conor McGregor? I don't know him. Anything, anything over 40 grand he owes me because that was his last paycheck. I wiped my ass with that money. I tipped that money.
I took the chance going, going at 170, but Nate came in. He was there. Can you describe the emotions after a loss like that? I felt it took him the fourth round, but I, I was inefficient with my energy. You know, it stings, it stings real bad, but this is the fight business. But I'm humble in victory or defeat. I've been on the end of many defeats in my, in my life, and I've rose back, so... He was efficient. I wasn't efficient. That was, that was it, I feel. I will not shy away from it. Um, I will not make excuses for it. I will assess it and uh, come back.